Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey folks, welcome back to another project for our altered book. Today we're gonna use um, some of the pages we have cut off. As you can see here already, we're gonna prep some butterflies. We're gonna need some wire. This is a uh, 20 gauge, about 0.8 millimeters. It's a dead soft. We're gonna need a gel mat. We're gonna need some gold paint or another metallic paint you like, uh, just to add a little bit of a something something. We're gonna need a uh, bit the Butterfly die cuts, we're gonna need, of course, uh, some sort of a big shot, whatever brand you have. I have glued three pages to the back side, to the back cover, just to give it a little bit of a something something. <laughs> and I'm gonna make me a template for the niche. And I want it because I don't like to measure. I'd rather work with templates. Go in like an inch. On all sides. Which is approximately 2.5 centimeters for those who are metric. So that gives me about three and a quarter and those who follow me for a while I know, know that I love square formats. So I'm going to make a square niche. So I have like three pages, oh, there are actually four, four pages together and I try to cut them all at once. Let's see how it goes. First I'm going to mark where it is. The blade looks very dull, so I make sure that I have a good edge so it cuts easier. Maybe four pages is a little bit too much. Let's do three this time. And then I go on and we'll be back when I have cut enough pages. seems to work pretty well. Okay, I will be back when I have enough pages cut and I can't tell you now how much I just gonna check. Ok, 
occasionally how deep the niche is and I don't think it's enough yet so I will be back so I have cut out 16 pages which gives me about three millimeter niche depth it isn't quite nice here but I think I'm gonna cut it back when I have glued everything together it's basically just adding glue to the page all over especially at the edges and then again using the squeaky to make sure that it is completely down done And I'm also going to glue the flaps. I'm not going to cut it back. I'm pretty sure it helps uh, to stabilize the whole book. So I don't want to cut those back. But I certainly want to glue them down. Now let's see if I can fix my not so exact cutting here. Better than what I thought. Lucky me. <laughs> okay. It's time to paint. I'm still thinking if I should put something underneath. Yeah, maybe that's better. Uh, that's the paints I have chosen and later on I'm gonna go in with embossing and some stamping. I use a simple cosmetic sponge to apply the paint. Just dab it in some areas and the goal is not to cover it everything completely I want the text in the background so with some paints I have to be probably a little bit careful not with yellow yellow is usually a lot of translucent color when I'm changing from yellow to pink there is no danger of not making not color Okay, now I want to add the green and I'm certainly not going to use the purple uh, sponge because that's going to probably make mud. I'll use the wet wipe instead. I want to add some stamping with the embossing ink and embossing powder. I'm not looking for a perfect stamped pattern. I just want to something to go on beside the butterflies. So I'm gonna stamp rather haphazard. Uh, 
and I can't see it really, <laughs> nor can you, which is totally fine with me. Okay, now I need to catch paper. Um, for that, the paint has to be dry or it's going to stick on your paint too. So I have a white mixed in with black, it's, uh, I don't know whether it's still available, it's one of the Susan Leonard Cosmars iced animals, enamels, sorry, and for me that's a little bit too square, <laughs> I want it more organic, so I'm going to grab a brush and remove some of those. I like it like it is here. So I'm gonna remove some of the powders. I'm gonna leave it here, maybe here a little bit. Yeah, that's more what I like. Okay. Just for those who have never seen it before, I'm always fascinated how it turns into something different. <laughs> Again. Oh, here we are. Now the next step gonna be working with the butterflies.